So there are plenty of times that uh, women want to hold men accountable. Plenty times where this happens, where they want to hold men accountable. And that's great. We all should hold each other accountable so that our community is better. But what I see and what a lot of men see is that there is anger directed towards black men when we try to hold black women accountable. And you're going to see that in this video. Um, the ladies, the host reaction to uh, the smart guy, which is a guest on the show, will exemplify, will highlight what we mean by this visceral uh, reaction to trying to hold women accountable. Um, they're always trying to find a way to blame Jermaine. It's all Jermaine's fault. It's all Jermaine. It's some way, somehow, they're going to blame Jermaine. Please, just blame Jermaine. I blame him. They always got to blame the black man for some reason. And if we can't get past this, it's going to be hard to fix our community because it's impossible that the black man is always wrong in that black women are always right. Like, that's impossible because no one is perfect. And if we're going to fix the community, we can't keep blaming Jermaine. We just can't. I'm sorry. So let's watch the video and I'll give a little bit of my commentary. So on this show, the smart guy or smart guy, I'm not sure which one he prefers, um, has been talking about his mother and these horrendous, horrific, terrible, disgusting, despicable things his mother did to him. And listen to the host's reaction to what his mother has done to him. Mm -hmm. You have the same level of disdain for your father who was actively... No. The I, same level of disdain for your father who... I don't. Cause I left something out and you kind of she said it twice I think it was twice do you have the same disdain for your father who was not there that you have for your mother pay attention to his reaction because remember he's been talking about what his mother did to him and she brings up the father and hey don't you hate your father just as much don't you have the same level of disdain distaste for your father reminded me right a lot of black women are not held accountable for the brainwashing they do to their children and they turn these little black boys against their daddy and really your mommy and the father is trying jumping through hula hoops my grandfather on his deathbed told me things that i didn't even know my grandmother's family didn't even want my grandfather to be with my grandmother my grandfather you know pop he he died you know before my grandmother my grandfather bent over back was worked at the post office had different hustles and he did everything to take care of my grandmother, right? And and the family didn't even approve of it. It was like this weird my grandfather was telling me certain things and I was like, damn, you know, we don't realize a lot of black men go through a lot and they don't have fathers. And then a lot of them succumb to the pressure. And it's a lot of lies. It's a lot of, you know, keeping the baby away. And then the men get to the breaking point and they did. Doesn't make it right, that's wrong too. But if they don't understand that. Did you hear that? Didn't they break? They leave. And that's wrong too. You heard? That's wrong too. That's wrong too. He said it. Right? He said it. He's holding his father accountable. That's wrong too. But remember, there, there's a but here. Watch. You know, they have to weather that storm because the 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 tomorrow is going to be better than today but they don't have that wisdom they don't have that tutelage right and nobody talks about that deadbeat dad it's a lot of deadbeat mother and you obviously have a certain disdain for your mom right um would you equate the two because your father did i guess for whatever reason choose not to be there and your mom was obviously do you see how she went back to the dad trying to blame your man did you did you see this? I did not rewind it. This is <laughs> this is her going back and asking again after she asked twice the first time. Now she's asking again. 
after he just said women have a hard time accepting responsibility. Remember, that's the whole point I'm trying to drive home that I'm agreeing with. Somehow you have to put it back on the man. If you criticize a woman for something she did, it's got to be somehow a man's fault. Some man somewhere lurking in the corner is responsible for every woman's uh, mishap, mistake, problem, issue. That's what we're trying to highlight. That's why he said it, that women have a hard time uh, accepting re uh, accountability, responsibility. And I'm agreeing. There's a certain truth to this. Not every black woman every time, but a lot of times with a lot of black women, it's hard for them to accept responsibility. Why is this important, Heavy? Because we got to fix the community there. There's continuous problems that happen. But if one part, which is 50 percent of the population, females can never accept responsibility for anything, then they'll keep making that same well, it won't even be a mistake, but we'll just use that that same mistake over and over and over again. And it can't be fixed because it's going to be assumed that it's a man's fault. But since in reality, it's not this thing will continually happen and we won't be able to fix it because half of the population does not have to be held accountable. So this friction, this these problems will continue to happen because 50 percent of the population does not have to set, accept responsibility. You can't fix things that way. Everybody has to be held accountable. But let, let's let's go back to this. And, and you can see she's asking again about the father. Don't you equate the same thing that your mother did to you as the same as what your father did since he left? Here we go. Not a great mother. What's she mean not a great mother. She wasn't a mother at all. My father chose not to be there. He was wrong for that. <laughs> you see it? She was not a great mother at all. My father chose to be not to be there, and he was wrong for that. My father chose not to be there, and he was wrong for that. But what my mother did was terrible. She was not a mother. That's what he said. She was not a mother. My mother chose to try to kill me multiple times while she was there. I was molested by my mother. We're not going to swing past that. I was molested by my mother. My mother made, tried to make me over. And he shouldn't. Did you hear that? We're not going to just swing past the fact that my own mother molested me. We're not going to swing past that. This is important. Because his mother did these things. And now it's a woman on the show that keeps asking about the father. Don't you hold the father just as responsible for the things your mother did to you? What? No. Like my father was wrong for not being there but he didn't do these things to me he didn't molest me it was my mother we have a hard time hearing this because it's a female we're just we're making them them being females babies infants when we do this because only infants only a child cannot accept responsibility because they have parents that are ex supposed to accept responsibility for them but we're talking about grown women. They're not children. But the more we say a man is responsible for their actions, the more we're saying that women are like children. And that's disrespectful. But people are not viewing it that way. This is should be disrespectful to women. If women cannot accept responsibility, we're making them akin or akin to children. Because only children cannot accept responsibilities for their actions because they're not legally an adult and the guardian parent and or guardian is supposed to be taking responsibility for that child's actions but we're talking about grown women and she keeps going back to the father and he's like hold on we ain't we ain't just glossing over what my mother did to me which was not be a mother and be a monster to me those on Tylenol my mother literally tried to throw me down an incinerator. My mother tried to suffocate me. My mother tried to starve me. Okay? So, fuck all that. My pops is wrong because he bounced. All right, cool. Have you met him? Yeah. You know? But I, I'm saying it. I'm focusing on the mother because black women held to be, hate to be held accountable. They hate to. Do we? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Do you see the confusion on her face? Do we? You can't even accept... You can't even allow his mother to accept the responsibility of what she did. You keep going back to the father. Like, this is a perfect, perfect example of what he's talking about. You can't even allow a woman you don't even know to accept the responsibility of the evil thing she did to this young man right here.
That this is a perfect example of what we're talking about. But it's gonna go over so many people's heads because it is not in our culture to criticize and critique and hold accountable women. In our community, that is a no-no. So we don't see it as something good. We're seeing it as bad that a man is not being a man if he's pointing out the fact that a woman did something wrong. Because if you're a man, you're supposed to take on all, all the responsibilities of everybody, right? you only a man when, when you sacrifice and you die, you take on the responsibility of everybody. Well, you can't fix no community like that because it ain't just men in this community. It's men and women. It's males and females in this thing. Like, this is just the perfect example. I'm done with this. Hope y'all love the content. If nobody's told you they love you, that you're beautiful. I'm telling you, black man, black family, you smart. You're beautiful. You loved. Keep pushing. It's heavy.